no, it never Welcome is. back, everyone. So designer drugs like bath salts are becoming a major problem across the country, and even right here in Dayton, with street names like Blue Silk, Vanilla Sky, and Ivory Wave. The drugs were never really made for the bathtub, but now local hospitals and educators have a new tool on the war on deadly designer drugs, which is these pamphlets. So here to tell us about it is Cindy Jennings, an emergency room nurse at Miami Valley Hospital, along with Helen Jones Kelly, the executive director of the Alcohol Addiction and Mental Health Services Board for the Montgomery County. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. So let's start with um, you, Cindy. In terms of, you, you're an ER nurse, in terms of what you see coming in and out, what, what do you see happening with bath salts at the ER? Well, we've had a year-long problem now, and most of it stems around people that are trying the new chemicals that have been placed out on the market. We've seen anything from extremely high heart rates to high blood pressures. We've seen several patients that have come in comatose mm -hmm. and several people that have come in with life-threatening conditions and some that have passed away due to those chemicals. Now, Helen, um, I know you are launching these pamphlets today. What are you hoping is going to come of these pamphlets? Well, what's the, what's the, uh, the, the goal of distributing all of these around the county? Well, there are a couple of goals. First of all, it's the collaboration with the Greater, Dar Greater Dayton Area Hospital Association mm -hmm. and the hospitals that mm -hmm. are part of that association and really working together to get the prevention message out. Uh, prevention is key with this kind of issue. If we can make sure that educators, parents, um, even the colleagues of the students, peer pressure, um, if people know the issue and can articulate it in a way that helps someone from becoming a victim, of the use of designer drugs, then we will have made a huge uh, uh, way towards accomplishing Made a big success. dent in it, yes. yes. And now you've got several versions of them, and I know you're distributing them kind of widely, but they're also coming out in the hospitals mm -hmm. as well, right? So do you see people picking these up and questioning it? We're a little bit more selective. We actually give them to patients that are at risk for that. Some okay. of our younger adults or patients that have come in that may be trying other drugs that are thinking about using these, we give them the brochures along with everybody else to see if we so can stop it. Right off the bat, before Correct. they even, before this, so prevention is obviously your number one platform here. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are this, the people that have come into the ER, what are the instances that you have found that they got their hands on it? Was it a party, uh, friends? Well, right now, we're, it used to be an, a legal substance. People were going to any of the convenience stores, to some of the truck stops, to even the neighborhood markets down the street, and they were purchasing those. Now that the laws have changed in the state of Ohio, we're still finding that some of those marts are still selling, still selling them. It. They're still selling them, maybe just not out in the open like they used to. And we're also starting to see them coming in from other states because other states do not quite have these strict laws that Ohio has implemented. And that's probably added another element of, of just trying to track it and stop it, right? It's probably more difficult in that case. Well, it is, and the fact that the people that are producing these chemicals are changing them. So they actually know what the laws are, but they're starting to change the substances just enough that it can get by the laws in the state of Ohio, but they still have the same effects on the body. And I, I know we mentioned that it is very dangerous, and you see it in the ER. What, can you talk me through some of the symptoms if you were to take it and it goes wrong? Well, Cindy sees this on a regular basis, but, but we know that typically people have a, an ability to use their weight in ways that they would not normally be able to do. Um, they're not thinking about safety, so there are all kinds of behaviors that you see that you would not typically see, mm -hmm. strength that you would typically not see in a person. And Cindy, you've got, mm -hmm. I know, a lot of experience mm -hmm. in what you've seen on a daily basis. A lot of our patients become very paranoid. They start having hallucinations with these chemicals. Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily feel pain like they would if they weren't on the chemicals. And, and all of a sudden, dangerous. they mm -hmm. start having superhuman strength. That, it, th that is a very dangerous combination. Well, thank you, ladies for joining us and if you need uh, any more information please give the Greater Dayton Area Hospital Association's 24-hour hotline a call at 937-244-4646. Thanks again ladies. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Thank you.